So, what's the compounding effect to you, or how you can okay. synthesize it? Okay, that's a great question because um, I'll I'll come at it from two angles. Yeah. So, so the first angle is is the human mind isn't capable of thinking of things in a convex or a concave in an exponential manner. Let's yeah. call it that. The human mind think of thinks of things linearly. So. Compounding is literally a way of, in finance, saving very small amounts of money over a very long term horizon, starting with, let's say, 50 euro. That could, over decades, grow into, I'm inventing, yeah. 1 million euros yeah. through very small you know, increments. And in life, the compounding effect in my mind is and there's a very good book called Atomic Habits. I don't know if you've read it. I didn't read it, but I know about it. Okay, it's a great book about compounding in, in life rather yeah. than and in your career. So if you make uh, a 1% improvement in uh, your, whatever, your subject, your topic, your, your job, every single day, that affects, accumulates, and becomes something bigger than yourself. Yes, <laughs> that's true. And you reminded me of something that... Um, there was an interview with Mr. Beast. Um, uh, it's you. You mentioned that you obviously you're using numbers as your language. Uh, Mr. Beast comes from a different point of view. So let's say you're making YouTube videos, right? You change or improve something with every video you put out there. By time from the one, the first video to the hundredth video, you can then see your improvement. Um, the, the improvement that you've made across the, the months, the years, or it, it, it doesn't happen, but there is the compounding effect that small changes every time that helps you improve, helps you grow with whatever you're doing. Yeah, I, I really like that you mentioned this example because, because Mr. Beast, incidentally, also um, makes a very good analogy about, about the group effect also. So let's say you and me, we are both in this industry, right? If I myself were a lone ranger going at it on my own, right, and making mistakes and improving them, I would make, let's say, X improvement. Yeah. But if we were, both of us, you and I, we're sitting in the same room, and every time somebody learns something, right, they share it yeah. to the group, then imagine what improvement, what even more compounding you can make um, by, by sharing knowledge as, as a group as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I like those analogies because... <laughs> The second one, the, the one that I mentioned, also uh, relates to, let's say, gatekeeping of information, right? I do what I do for free. I do it because I want to give back to society and I feel that, that, that people need to listen to what I say and, and it would add value to them. It would probably be in my interest, um, at least... I would perceive it to be in my interest to gatekeep that information for myself. Yeah. But I know that I would be worse off, right? Because I wouldn't get that knowledge and that idea sharing from everyone else. Yeah. So, so I feel that this, this analogy is really good, especially in the Maltese community, when as a group, we would mutually benefit each other from sharing more. That's strong. That's strong. And this is the thing that is that until you... Grow what grow your YouTube channel, your your online presence. You're doing things for free. <laughs> um, the greatest, the greatest. Um, it's not about the money aspect, but it's about time, because you're dedicating. So the audience is seeing that 15 second video that you're putting out there, but that 15 second video costs you 15 minutes in real life. Minimum. If only. <laughs> Min minimum. If you're doing minimum. videos in 15 minutes, tell me how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> minimum, because uh, for me the hardest part are the captions and the... The, the editing. Luckily, luckily, the editing part became easier with the introduction of AI. So, um, although it's faster, it is time consuming because you have to um, prepare what you have to say, set up the, the scene, the scenario. In my case, I shoot um, the videos uh, either at the guest's place when I'm shooting podcasts or... Um, at my own in my own bedroom where where where, <laughs> where I'm, I'm 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 shooting those um, short videos on my own <laughs> so i have to set things up you know i don't have the studio ready ready to go so you have to set things up and you have to uh, prepare something prepare some points so that you can follow 
then you shoot, then you have to export and edit and then schedule, which takes also takes a lot of time. So that 15 seconds to be from, from the production state to out there online, there are a lot of, of, of not heard this, but a lot of things that have to go to go through in order to yeah, produce something. Yeah, you bet. And, and especially in, uh, I don't know about your sector, but in the, sec the financial sector, the opportunity cost of that time is extremely high. Yeah. Because instead of shooting videos with my dog, <laughs> trusty sidekick, yeah. you know, and then taking, at least on my long form YouTube, take a couple of days to edit. Um, instead of doing that, I could be doing a productive job for a, you know, a fee. Yeah. So, so the price is high. The price is high. And uh, also, b besides that, let's, let's put everything into context. Then when you get people like random people in a social setting telling you like they've learned more about economics than they have at school, like throughout it's true. It's true. your videos, it, it kind of does. I wouldn't say it makes it all worthwhile yeah. because I also need to feed myself. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> makes a difference though, and it, it spurs does. you on. It, it does, it does. And we must be doing something, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that is, you have that verification that you're doing something yeah. right. Yeah. Well, and you do that, um, just, let's, let's be realistic as well, you do that with the hopes that one day you'll be able to feed yourself out of it as well <laughs> so yes you're giving um, information for free you're doing something out of out of goodwill to a certain extent but yes why not if you're doing a good job and and you're you're paid for 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 doing what you love and what you what you enjoy doing i mean there's nothing wrong with that um uh, so with, with going back to the compounding effect it if it works in that way and you keep on going because the, the it's so easy to give up it's so easy to say ah oh, this is too much work i'm not going, don't go, going to do this anymore it's very easy um, so you have to write always at least in my case to remind yourself why you are doing this in the first place why you started because um, results are coming very slowly and sporadically as well so there could one there could be one very good week and then three months of silence <laughs> and you have to deal with those three months of silence uh, and that is that is real that is real that is very real um, hopefully at least i am um, or the, the, the goal would be that those periods of silence are less frequent yeah yeah but until you see that happening it, 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 it might take months and, or even years agreed agreed uh